There's still a lot of people who want to get a college degree, and that's important, uh, but not for everybody nowadays, and we're learning the, the options. But you're still into the degree category, then there's lots of money. Really, there's more money actually for any kind of education now. And there's money you don't have to pay back, and so much of it is, doesn't matter what income you are, <laughs> how old you are, or anything. Uh, there's even scholarships for people that are over 60 only. You go for free. It's incredible. But here's what to do uh, if you're interested in that at any age. So if you're just uh, someone out of high school or someone hates a career, wants to go back, or you're retired and want to start a whole new thing. Okay, the first thing you want to do is if the school you're interested in Go to their financial aid office. Make an appointment. You got to go belly to belly. See, it's getting grant money to do anything. It's not filling out an application. It is, but the hard part is finding the right application. And you got to use people to do that. You have to talk to people, not go around in circles on the internet. That'll get you nowhere. <laughs> it's only going to get you a place to lose money. Um, not get money. Uh, so you first of all make your financial aid office. Like I have a scholarship at a local community college. Man, I got to beat on these people to give out the money. <laughs> so that's why you want to have a friend in the financial aid office when new programs come in that you might be eligible for and know about them. So you want a friend there. There's your best friend uh, to get money. And it takes nothing. It's just bringing a cupcake <laughs> and, and, and wishing them well. Okay. The the other thing a lot of people miss is going to your state. Every state has a whole bunch of programs uh, to pay people to uh, train for new skills or degrees or whatever it is. Now, here's what uh, uh, Texas has, hundreds of them, yeah. <laughs> all kinds of them. And, and that's the, because that's what people miss. You know, and, and that's the easiest one to tap into. I mean, here they have, look at just in the state programs alone, this is all state money too. Uh, bordering state waiver, not sure what that is, but sounds like you don't have to pay tuition if you're on a neighbor's state. A neighbor scholar, good neighbor scholarship program, license plate and insignia scholarship. Man, no idea what they are, but you gotta find out. That's why talking to people, uh, Texas Educational Opportunity Grant, Texas Public Education Grant, T Texas Tuition and Fee Exchange, Exemptions, you know, the 10% rule, whatever that is. And they go on. I mean, there's 50 or 100 of these things. Okay. That's, I mean, that's fish in a barrel because you know the programs, they're legitimate and whatever. Uh, and that's why I don't go to Google, please. <laughs> okay. The next thing you want to do is your elected official. Okay, all elected officials know they will get your vote if they find money for you to go to college or to do anything you want. And they have access to it better than you or I do. They have a staff, you know, that does this research for you. So you call each one of those up and I start with your federal. You have two senators and one U.S. representative. You call the office, say, hey, you know, it's your son or you. I want to go back to college. What kind of programs are there? They have a package already. You know, so don't worry, you're a pain in the ass. I mean, and you want to be a pain in the ass because that's the way you get help. <laughs> you know, that's squeaky wheel things. But be polite because don't forget, these people get paid whether they help you or not. So you have to use you and your personality uh, to get what the heck you need. Okay. Now, there's another thing that uh, government has is nice for people who are going and classes even full-time. You get part-time jobs with the government, intern shop jobs with the government. They pay good salaries while you're going to school. And these are uh, for, because they want to help get you in the system so that when you graduate, you stay to work for the government. So th this is a good deal. I mean, you don't have to, uh, but also particularly technical degrees and things like that. That's a great thing. So find out about the programs where you are. And, and there's a link here, gogovernment.org. <laughs> and that tells you about them. And if you get stuck with those, uh, then you go back to your uh, congressman or your two senators. They'll help you unwind that stuff if there's ever a, a problem with that. Okay, so you got that. Okay, also every county has a Department of Labor Career Center and they get off offers. I mean, they get people, they help people get any kind of job, get any kind of education, training, or, or, or even school. They don't do college that much, but they'll know about other programs. So you want to touch base with them anyway, because they're a good point. I mean, they help people in their careers, okay? Uh, so they know the programs that are out there. There could be other programs for paying rent and utilities and things like that they'll know about, or transportation or daycare <laughs> and stuff like that. So they're someone to put in. See, it's all about people. It's all about getting a listing of people that 
are, are in business to help you solve that problem. See, that's what's so amazing about all this stuff. We, the government gives money to people to help you find money. <laughs> you come to me, I'm gonna charge you. So you wanna use these free people first. Okay, so that's another one. So they're called the Career One Stop Center. Okay, so that, but you're, no, stop, yeah, okay. You wanna find a professional society. Maybe you're a journalist or an engineer or whatever, uh, but that's a little technical about what society, but see, all these professional organizations have things for students and they have programs for students. They wanna help students, help them find money and things like this. So these are wonderful mentors that could cost you maybe $20 as a student fee or something like that, but to talk to about, hey, where can I get money to do something? Because they want you to be successful in your career because then they get more people <laughs> <laughs> in their club, and <laughs> that's what they want. But they know the programs, and there's special programs for every kind of uh, every kind of profession. So you want to know about those professional programs and the profession you, you want to do, and that's by you uh, joining a professional society. Okay. Now, how do you find the right one? Well, actually, I, I think your career counselor, uh, financial. Uh, uh, at your university will be able to help you with that too. Okay, where else you go? Uh, a library, man. <laughs> <laughs> Remember my library? <laughs> they were before the internet. They're still there and they're great. <laughs> and particularly or something like this, because what they have, most of them will have a, a list already uh, of people who want to go to college in their zip code, in their city or town that have uh, programs to help you pay for college. Exactly. So they're going to do it. Now, again, that's a people to people business. You want to get down belly to belly with these people. <laughs> so they know you as a person, not as a digit. It's easy to flunk you as a digit. But if you're a human being, man, <laughs> then they want to help you more. So that's why you go down to the library, say, hey, reference library, hey, I'm trying to find this or do that or whatever, and they'll help you. They're the sweetest people we have in our society, and they work from love, not for getting more money out of you. <laughs> so that's why you want to be there, okay? <coughs> And if you have trouble finding your library, call 211 or 311, some, some organizations, okay? Uh, okay, now there's another uh, organization. Now listen to this one. This is a good one. Uh, findhelp.org. Now what you want to do here, this shows you nonprofit organizations that help you with something, okay? Everybody in this database uh, gives out free money, okay? Not like Google. Everybody in Google wants to get your money. These organizations want to give you money. It's is silly, isn't it? But you don't know about them. That's sillier or dumber. Dumber, dumber. So you're going to get a college degree. You won't be so dumb. Anyway, uh, you go to this website and put in, like I did, uh, uh, education and then financial aid for education. Okay, for my zip code, or actually, no, I think I did this for Austin, Texas, because uh, I wanted to help somebody in Texas uh, with this. Okay, uh, and there's 30 organizations like College Hub, Foundation Communities, okay? Uh, they, 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 they support low-income, non-traditional students, provide wraparound support services, all this kind of stuff. Texans Veterans, uh, National College Match, okay? These are all nonprofit organizations uh, that help you get paying for college, okay? Some may be weird stuff that got in there by accident. That's okay, but call, 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 call. You're not going to get anything unless you call. <laughs> okay. Now you want to stay away from Google and, and do scholarships, but there's some decent ones uh, that help. Uh, and here's a, a source to the decent ones. I mean, most of the scholarship things you're going to put are going to want money from you, uh, or they're going to sell your name to other people who want that. I mean, you know, this is a money game. So you want to stay away from Google, but here are some more legitimate uh, scholarship search engines uh, that you may want to play with, and that's at collegescholarships.org, okay? And that's the legitimate ones, okay? Now, the other thing I put in here for you, we have a, what we call a 500 mini grant report for every state. And, and this is a report you could use for uh, get extra money to live on while you're in college, okay? Uh, so anything from getting a part-time job, paying your bills, paying your rent, you know, transportation, uh, health care, dental care, whatever. So there are 500 organizations that provide this uh, in every state. And so we have a state-by-state -state listing, if you're a member, and I have the one here for Texas. Uh, so you can see what Texas looks like, okay? And, and it, it is... 
there's help out there for anything. And that's why you just have to believe it's there and it's gonna take some work on your part. You're not gonna just go on the internet and fill out a form and someone send you a check. That may happen, but probably it won't. You know, and so you have to count on it won't. <laughs> so you have to solve your problem. Otherwise you're gonna give up and you won't solve your problem. The only people who don't get the money are the people who give up. <laughs> so you can't give up, can't give up the ship. <laughs> it's out there, but it's gonna take some time and effort on your part. And that's what we do at lesgohelp.com. And we also give out our own grants. We give out over $70,000 in grants every month to members. Uh, that's our profit. And so instead of buying yachts or a lot of shit like that that <laughs> I don't need, uh, we give it back to members who really need the money. And it's just a pleasure to do that. It grows our heart. And the people in the uh, membership help each other in a loving way that, that I can't believe uh, we created. But it's wonderful to get up every morning and try to help somebody. Thank you for allowing me to do that.